we, it's hard to explain it to anybody else. We were in it together. And so that binds us together forever. Right. And it's, it was really incredible to be able to be with everybody and to be with Tori and Jenny as women, as moms, and to be that we stayed and we were living in the same apartment building when we went out to Vancouver to shoot. Yeah, That was awesome. That was, that was for me, the, was incredible to be able to discover them as women and for them to see me as a, it was great. I loved it. And I loved being, seeing Brian. Now I had not seen Brian since we had done the show and to see him as a man and he's beautiful. I mean, he's just so, that was great. And to see, you know, Ian and to be able to see Jason and everybody together, it was wonderful. Really. It was. Brian is beautiful. I, I would agree with that statement. Yes. yes. Um, what, but what goes through your mind though, when you get that call, like, Hey, we're thinking of like, did you hesitate at all? Or was it like, just sign me up? Well, that's it, no, I got a call from, I forget if I got a call from Tori and Jenny, or I got it from the casting. I'm not, I think I got it from casting first. And then I reached out because this was Jenny and Tori's thought baby. Right. Yeah. And I called them and then I started calling the rest of the cast to see how they felt. And, um, we went in for a lot of meetings to shape the show, to talk about what we were interested, what we would be willing to do, not do. There was a lot of, you know, I don't know if I want to, you know, revisit a character that I was, you know, I've been so strongly identified with that I can't do other things, you know, and then, but then I think we've been away long enough that everybody was like, okay, well, we could try it. You know, it was, there was a lot of fear and excitement, you know, to do it. It was a very interesting journey. Well, it was a great spin where you were playing heightened versions of yourself. Yes, what, whose idea was it your idea? Or do you have any input? I mean, Andrea is now exploring her sexuality with that was mine. Yeah. Christina Lee's or Andrea, you are exploring, oh. not Andrea. See, I'm already. That's okay. Christine, actually, how brilliant for her. She's so no, I, I went and said, when we were doing character development for us, I said, you know, I think that I should be um, discovering uh that, you know, maybe that I'm in a different place in my life and that I, I really want, I had a friend who went through that. She'd been married for almost 30 years, three kids. And she realized, you know what, I, I'm gay. And it was something that she had not dealt with. And um, she'd lived what seemed to be a very happy life, but she said, I'm at a, that's not where I am and who I am. And I'm, I'm not gonna deny myself. And I said, I think that is a really compelling story. I think that are a lot of people who are going through, you know, living uh, the life that everybody, you know, is expected of them and then realizing this is my life. And um, I think it's time for me to let go of everybody's expectations and do my life, right? So that was really exciting when they embraced that. And at first that, you know, we had different writers, they wanted to do stuff that was like really, um, Make, make it comedic. And I think there are things that can be funny, but I said, this is real. Like you don't have to, yeah. you, you know, let people t hear the story, let them feel the feelings, what it is. And by the way, I wasn't calling you Andrea. I just thought in the story, but I'm like, it wasn't Andrea on the story. It was Gabrielle. I know, See, it's I already, know. this don't is worry. why it was a brilliant reboot, but were you, I mean, how, how bittersweet was it to do it, you know, without Luke? Well, it's the sadness of, Luke died. We were in the process because Luke was part of the development. So it was very, very painful when he died. And it's anyway would have been. But um, we shot, we knew we had to also be able to honor Luke because not right. to have recognized Luke not being there would have been a sham. And yet we could not go and make the show about that because then it looked like you were trying to, you know, we didn't want to em emotionally milk people. <laughs> you know what right. we, we so we tried to honor him in the way that would be the most, you know, honest thing and then not make the show about that. But it was, look at, he died young, you know, how mm -hmm. sad is that? So many people do. And it's just because he was in the public eye, there was a feeling, you know, it's that universal loss that we all share, but um, he was a really good man and he really cared. He was a very sensitive soul. So it was sad. It was just really, it was hard. So sometimes we do something and say, oh, Luke would love that. You know, we have like, oh, that Luke would love that. He would have thought that was great. You know, so we honored him. Was it like somewhat cathartic, like to go through this together, you know, like almost right after that or shortly yeah. after that? It was really interesting, right? Because we were developing the show all together. So yes, we all cried together. We didn't, it was, 
cathartic to have each other. And we were so present in each other's lives in that moment. So we didn't have to seek each other out. And um, it allowed us to, I guess, to mourn him more help in a healthy way. Yeah, it was good. Did you learn anything different or that shocked you about any of these old friends of yours or lifelong friends during this reboot of all living together where you're like, wow. I think just, wow, how familiar, how much we really knew each other, how much we, I don't think there was nothing that shocked me. It was all just really comfortable and comforting. It was interesting. Do you think there'll be more reunions? We're talking right now about doing something else together. So I think that would be really fun. You'll hear more depending on what happens. A movie? See, it happens. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I've heard rumors of a movie. I've heard rumors of a documentary. (laughs) It all sounds good. It's all Listen, good. Whatever we do will be fun. I, I will personally take it, and I think the fans will personally take it any way they can get it. Well, thank you. 